Okay, so very briefly, a clarification about the spirit of expiration. I honor Kenny Veach's spirit, raw spirit of expiration, but it's not about finding him on the mountains. And this is going to get to something that's going to touch upon other topics. I'm going to try not to go on a tangent. If I do, I really just don't care. And, uh, and that goes too hard of something else. So, okay, so based on the idea that Kenny Veach, um, based on the he is still alive theory, um, this is my perspective. I have come to my own conclusions with respect to the mystery. And I absolutely say respect and honor the family above all. And based on the Kenny being alive theory, it's also why I may sound pretty irreverent. Because I am pretty vulgar and irreverent. And I'm going to explain why. If this even makes sense, and it probably doesn't make sense, it probably makes as little sense as a president talking about people rubbing down his hairy legs or something. But there was this uh, Netflix documentary about don't mess with cats or something. Okay, so... And some, there was some really bad person, they were like, they were torturing and killing cats, and they had all these internet suits, you know, fantastic job, basically tracking down this, you know, horrible um, actor who's, you know, doing these things to these beautiful cats, but, uh, so that's the kind of thing where, you know, really applaud it, but here's the thing, Kenny Veach, okay, if he wants to be left alone, um, I, personally, I, I blame Kenny Veach, because here's the thing, um, if, if, for example, I'm just hypothetical, this is not Kenny Veach's case, if I hate my family and want to just, uh, you know, basically, uh, t you know, basically tell, tell them off, tell the world off, or, uh, and just do my own thing, the, um, I would just do that. I don't, here's the problem, based on the, him being live theory, if you, if you talk about a legend of an M cave, if there has been this legend and myth all around you, um, you're going to invite basically mysteries, investigations, you're going to invite this whole whirlwind around you rather than if you just said, you know, privately, I I'm off to the sunset. Don't ever talk to me. Uh, I'm not saying he had a problem with with his family. He, he maybe he, the, that's not the whole point. The whole point is if someone just wants to tell everybody off and, and do their own thing, yeah, if you don't want the attention, the best thing to do is don't talk about no M cave. Don't talk about no Area 51 aliens looking for an M cave. Just run off and do your own thing. Um, so, in part, if, if he wanted to be left alone, the contradiction is you only got yourself to blame. So, with his life theory, no, I'm not reverently trying to um, look where he is. If, he's, if, the, if the bro is living in Belize, I could care less. I couldn't care any less. So based on live theory, is my goal to ever try to uh, find Kenny Veach per se? What, like, you know, hire an investigations team? And, you know, that's kind of murky water there because, you know, people have a legal right to privacy, even though he's a public YouTuber. Um, if he's living out his life, he has a right to privacy. But um, now here's the thing. So th there's some conspiracy theories. Someone's trying to block the case. Someone's trying to do that. No, I'm not trying to block that. So uh, we're still someone's phone, right? So Kenny Veach is not on the mountain range. As I go up to the mountain range, it's in his spirit of exploration. I don't morally judge him. Um, he's not on the mountain range, but if someone wants to, uh, you know, search for Kenny Veach, they can do that. I'm not, you know, what, what am I going to do? You know, uh, tell them don't go. Uh, can, is Susan going to tell me not to go on this range? I have the right to go on the range anytime I feel like. So I mean, I'm personally not searching, I, you know, for a missing person. This is not like a missing hiker. Uh, you know, you're you're going to find the remains of someone. It's just inspired by his spirit of exploration. I can go up to Sheep Range or any other mountain as many times as I feel like. But all in all, I'm personally not in favor of of the idea of. Okay, so he's out there somewhere. Is he is he in Belize? Is he uh, is he in Tokyo? Did he? Um, run off to serve the French Foreign Legion, and you know, you see, a, you know, a French national now. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. So let the, you know, I said, let the bro live out his life. He's not out there, um, you know, like you know, harming cats or something. You know, I, I, you know, if it was like that Netflix documentary where someone's going out there just, you know, you know, doing torturing cats and doing that kind of stuff, then yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I support others who would be, you know. 
you know, basically be an internet sleuth and, and basically investigations and, you know, basically, you know, putting a stop to, you know, people that are just, you know, doing something really just abjectly so awful like that. But Kenny Veach, um, if he wants to live his life, live your life, bro. And here's the problem. Uh, yeah, if you talk about it, again, if you talk about an MK Varia 51, you're going to get a lot of people. You're going to get a huge bandwagon. You're going to get attention. The, 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 if you disappear like that, cat's out of the bag. It's going to breed litters. And especially if folks go, if they're on 60 Minutes or any type of documentary, cat's out of the bag. Pandora's box. You can't put you can't put that cat back in the bag. Um, it is what it is. But, you know, he's out there. If he's out there, in, you know, live it up, live it up, uh, you know, you know, respects to Kenny Veach, so, I'm, I'm not gonna try to find you, track you down, are you in Belize, I, I, I couldn't care less, bro, couldn't care less.